Okay, so I know I made a video a few days ago about uh, my uh, trash uh, anime takes, uh, but I decided to make one more for a specific uh, take, and that is my love for the slice of life genre. Yeah, I said it. I genuinely love the slice of life genre. I think it's really good and it's gone a bit unappreciated. Uh that which is understandable because um it is oversaturated with very generic plots of oh is he going to get with this girl or this girl or you know but there are really those gems that you find in the, uh, you, you know, you, you find the diamond in the rough, uh, a shiny piece of coal. I don't know why I'm trying to quote Hamilton right now. Um, but yeah, no, S Slice of Life anime honestly has those really neat gems. Uh, so I, I can name a few off the top of my head, uh, Toradora is a really good example. Nisekoi is another great example that uh, really changes the dynamic of um, uh, harem animes. You know, the the you, the stereotypical oh the boy's gonna have the childhood friend, um, a little sister probably somewhere in there. A uh, sundere uh, is probably gonna be the one he falls for. Honestly, I, I, I really enjoy, like, the way series can, uh, sort of subvert your, uh, how, uh, some creators can use the tried-and-true slice-of-life genre in order to subvert your expectations and create something less nuanced and something different from the, uh, tried-and-true, uh, methods. Which, um, which also leads me on to say that I also like some of the generic stuff, you know, uh, and you thought there, uh, and you thought there was never a girl online, uh, that one's, yeah, that one's pretty generic, it, it doesn't really have things that really stand out from it, you, you have the girl, you have the boy, and you know, uh, the, the they like each other, but like you know, uh, but th what makes it different from other shows is that it isn't a harem. Like, sure, he has he has uh, two other friends that are uh, well, actually, three other friends that are also female, but it, it's not like there any of them have any romantic romantic interest in him, which is you know different from the tried and true method of like oh. Uh, the other two girls are, uh, the other two, uh, people he's playing with are female, so obviously that means it's gonna be a harem anime. It actually isn't, which surprised me. Um, and I honestly enjoyed it because of that, because I, because it instead focuses on the relationship between, um, the, the, f the female, uh, the main female protagonist, Ako Tamaki, you know, my waifu, and, um, the, the, the guy, uh, Rusian, or as he's better known, uh, Ni Nishitaka. You know, the only character I actually paid attention to was, um, Akko, so I, I don't really, I, I don't really know the other people's names. Oh, but, oh, wait, no, that, that reminds me, though. Um, another great subversion to, um, the slice of life genre is, uh, Kaguya-sama, Kaguya-sama, Love is War, or Kaguya-sama Wants to be Confessed to, which is, uh, the name of the manga, I believe, uh, currently, and honestly, it's extremely different, because it's basically, instead of, oh, the girl's a sundere, or, oh, the guy's a sundere, uh, the both sundres, essentially, which is what I love about it, and basically, it centers around, basi it's basically just, uh, who will confess first, sort of type of deal, and, yeah, that's really all I have to say about, uh, 
uh, why I love uh, slice of life anime so much. There, there's some deeper aspects there where like it's it's I like it because I find it relatable. I find some some of the jokes more like uh, you know not believable but like i i can like fundamentally understand them even though i'm not a japanese high school girl or a japanese high school boy i do unfortunately have the hairstyle of a hentai protagonist so that might cause some problems in the future i don't know um but yeah uh, thanks for, uh, listening to me ramble on about, uh, why I love the slice of life genre so much for, like, almost six minutes now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I also hoped you enjoyed the first video. And I think the one that probably released after that. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, if there wasn't a video that released after the first trash, uh, trash take video, um, then that's probably going to come after this one. I'm not spoiling what it is, just know that it's, uh, totally not related to One Piece, like, whatsoever. Alright, alright, uh, enough joking around. Uh, hope you guys, uh, like this video, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.